Hey guys, this is Sky Tech. Um, I know it's rare that I post more than once a week, but um, I felt that it was very fitting uh, as a lot of news, even with everyone quarantined, has come out um, in regard to Apple and I, I honestly wanted to cover it with you guys and um, tell you guys my opinion on it and, um, you know, just give you a little bit more information on what Apple is doing as of recently. So the WWDC event has been announced and invitations have been sent out. Um, Apple's invitation uh, design, and and this is just a, uh, a rumor I heard from other users, um, as I cannot see the uh, photo myself, but um, according to them, they cannot discern anything from the picture. So this is going to be a very, very interesting um, WWDC. Um, definitely iOS 14 is going to be released. Uh, well, the first beta of it. Um, but I, we, we honestly do not know. Um, so the WWDC main event, the one that we all watch, is going to be streamed on June 22nd. Um, so this is two weeks later than the traditional um, first week of June. Um, but it confirms that Apple is being delayed by the COVID-19 outbreak, um, which is very unfortunate, um, as they may not get all their products that they wanted to get done this year, done this year. Some of this might have to wait until 2021, but, um... We still have a lot of products that are being leaked and that we have heard of. Um, so I'm just going to go over them with you. So since early 2019, we have been hearing things about um, a product called the Apple AirTags. So what these are, they're, they're just basically... You put them on an object and they can connect via Bluetooth to either make a sound or show you exactly where they are. Um, you know what? To be honest, it's something that I would use. To be honest, I would really enjoy uh, having, I don't know, a dozen or so of these air tags. I mean, I could put them on a whole bunch of my, uh, a whole bunch of my electronics, um, and um, you know, c because I do lose things, and I, I think that Apple is doing the smart thing by perfecting this technology, and I think that it is going to be absolutely amazing when it comes out. Um, the next product that I have heard about is a mini HomePod. So this is kind of replicating the um, Echo Dot, um, which, ironically enough, I did a review on about an hour ago. Um, kind of entertaining, but um, I mean... I don't see Apple's reasoning for it. I mean, I know they want to compete, but to be honest, I don't see people buying it. The HomePod, in my opinion, was not too much of a success. I, 
you know what? I know one person who has a HomePod. <laughs> um, and, I mean, it's good sound, but it's ultimately way too much money. You can go out and buy an Amazon Echo Dot for 25 bucks. Easy. But these Apple HomePods are very expensive, and I don't see that product being a success. Um... As, and, um, I mean, something, with something like the AirTags, people are more likely going to spend their money on those AirTags. Um, but, I mean, moving on to the next product, um, of course, we are expected to see a refresh on the iPad Pros, um, likely an iPad 8th generation, like, uh, the, uh, 330 buck iPads, um, those have been a huge success, uh, but, I mean, I mean, I, I can't even count how many iPads that have been released, and, um, I mean, it is just insane, Apple has released so many different iPads. Um, it's so hard to count. Um, and of course, we're projected to see the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, wait, and 12 Max, which brings me to the new leak of... Um, th they're not going to call it the 12 Plus, as we had thought. Um, they're going to call it the iPhone 12 Max, which, uh, sort of aligns with Apple. Um, that they're, they're making it nice and neat and less of a jumble than I thought it was going to be. It looks like Apple is only going to be releasing four iPhones. We, we thought, well, five. We thought they were going to be releasing a sixth, but, um, no, they're not going to be releasing a sixth. Um... But it makes it a whole lot less confusing. And finally, we have the Apple Home, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the Apple Studio Pods. Now, um, as I have the AirPods Pro, I do not think that I'll be getting this. Um, but I, I don't see why anyone would need these. These are $100 more expensive than the regular AirPods Pro, um, which I have. And, I mean, look, the, these AirPods Pro are amazing. I'm actually recording using the AirPods Pro microphone. Um, so I, I, I don't really see this being a success with most people, but you never know. I mean, studio producers may want them, and this is who it's mainly targeted for. Um, it's going to be a set of over-ear headphones, um, noise cancellation features, um, transparency mode, just like the AirPods Pro, but there's going to be a new feature for Mac users um, that you know it's gonna it's gonna bring about a whole different studio like prospect with these Bluetooth headphones. And speaking of Bluetooth headphones, now that Apple owns Beats, you can say goodbye to Beats headphones. Apple Rumor has it will not be continuing the Beats series. Um, I, I know many people enjoyed them. Um, I think it's a bad move by Apple, but, I mean, what can we do? Um, but, I mean, anyway, Apple has its work cut out for them, and I really hope that they can get a lot of this done 
before the scheduled due dates. Um, well, you guys, uh, let, let me know what you think of these new Apple products in the comments. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe, staying healthy. All right, and I will talk to you and see you on the next one.